Charlie Puth, Mr. Puth. How's Jacksonville? It's going great. Have you ever been here? I have just once here. Yeah, I was looking at um, your tour dates, I and mean, I think the closest you're getting to us is Orlando. Well, I'll, 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 I'll give you guys a party bus. You come right through. Totally going to give away tickets and drive the two hours. I was actually just there. The Amway's awesome. So, a uh, big day for you. Attention is finally out. Attention is finally out. This is a song that I've wanted to put out for a really, really long time now. I know. It's so awesome. It's a little bit of a different sound for you. I actually got a little sneak peek a while back, so I've been really looking forward to this day as well. So what was the inspiration behind the song? I mean, well, uh, the, the the sonic inspiration, I mean, it's plain and simple. It's like music that I've wanted to put out for a long time. I produced the record, and I, I want that, like, smoothed out R&B kind of stuff. Um as far as um, you know, lyrics. I think the inspiration is just like me observing, like observing, you know, what it's like when someone kind of craves attention from you, but you don't want to give it back to them. So they do things to get attention from you. They do mess up things to get attention from you. And I'm, you know, I drew from personal experience. I think, uh, I think a lot of people can relate to that. You know, in this, and it kind of falls perfectly in our world of, you know, Instagram and Facebook, you know, everyone relying on, you know, likes and all that stuff. It's important to not heavily rely on that stuff. It's important, but, you know, not so important. Totally. There's, some of the lyrics are pretty specific, so it sounds like maybe it might be about a specific person. One of the great things about music is that you can interpret it in so many different ways. <laughs> That's very true. That is true. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Speaking of social media, do you have a favorite social media platform? I know you're not a huge fan from what I've heard. I just like them in doable doses. It's just like I like pizza. I'm not going to eat pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and three snacks. I'm going to have it once in a while. Right. It has its use, but don't let it like take over your life. I know a friend of yours, Selena Gomez, has admitted to deleting Instagram like weekly because she gets overwhelmed by it. Is there any uh, do you ever feel like overwhelmed by the pressure of social media and the need to post all the time? No, I mean, I just don't I just don't pick up my phone. I mean, we live in su we forget sometimes we live in such a beautiful world. I don't want to sound all hippie on everything, but like I, I live in L.A. It's beautiful out literally all the time. And, uh, you know, and there's so many great places to travel. I love traveling, you know, to, to, to uh, you know, driving along the roads in Florida when it's super humid outside. But, like, you can get a, a serotonin overload just from being outside. It's not what, like, the song is about. It's not like a I told you so song. It's just, like, it's an observing point. Actually, one of my first reactions when I heard it is, I can't believe this song like doesn't already exist because, you know, seen in my own life, and I'm sure that's why a lot of people relate to the song, is people just trying to hang on to you and not letting you move on when they really don't want you anymore. Yeah, yeah. Can you believe how messed up some people can be? Are you still in touch with Selena Gomez or do you guys not talk anymore? <laughs> I, see, I see what you <laughs> You see what no, I did I there? I, I, close circle, I try and talk to like everybody as much as possible where... Uh, um, you know, we're all going to run into each other at, you know, one point or another. It's important to, you know, say hi to everybody all the time. I, I you know, I, it's important for me to, like, get out of the studio and, like, say hi to people. I'm, I'm just making this album and I'm like, ugh, I find myself, like, you know, 17 hours in front of a computer. It's not good. Oh, my goodness. Just, like, in a dark hole, which is the studio. So did this uh, record come along pretty easily, or did you take a long time to work on it? The thought of it came along very easily. I, I took a long time um, uh, to craft the record. I was uh, traveling when I thought of the bass line. The dun, 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 dun. I knew I wanted that kind of... I, I had the notes exactly in my head. and um, uh, it, But it used to be a string part. And uh, I was like, it should be a bass part. And that bass is a fake bass. It's just me playing individual notes um, at once and just putting them on the grid in Pro Tools so it sounds like a real bass. So are you still in the studio now working hard, or are you getting a little break? What have you been up to lately? No breaks ever. I'm in the studio <laughs> now. Uh, well, now I'm in bed sleeping, but talking to you. But... Yeah, yeah. Are you single right now? You are single right now, right? Yeah, I'm single right now. No, you don't. You don't believe me. You don't want to. You don't want. I, I needed to take a little break. Yeah, from dating. Were you dating a lot of people? No, I was just like it, it's. I was. I think I was dating the wrong people. Is that kind of like where the song came along? I I I, I admire your bluntness. <laughs> again, again, attention is about a whole lot of things. It's just you know. 
a big mesh. It's like a big mesh of things that happen in my life. So you're single right now. Have you ever tried one of those uh, dating apps like Tinder or Bumble or the other ones that are out there? No, I can't do that stuff. I, I, I prefer meeting people in person. I think there's like a certain charm to that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I obviously would probably have to be like before he became famous and stuff <laughs> when it first came out. Right, right. I mean, even then, there's just a certain charm, just like, you know, meeting people. It's like just just meeting people to people. Yeah, it's way more romantic. So what are you looking for in this next person that you date? Or what are you not looking for? Um, I want them to listen to my music. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea. I, I have no I seriously, I have, I'm seriously not even thinking about it. Just whatever, whatever comes along. Um, you know, whatever, you know, uh, the stars will align. I'm not even think. I'm not even worried about it. Yeah, you're young. You're only 25. You know, you don't have to stress too much about it. You know, there's a lot on my plate, but um, it's all about how you manage it. Speaking of social media, I was talking a little bit on Instagram, uh, and I noticed you seem kind of like a big family person. So, if you were to meet somebody, would you need that family approval? I don't even know. I mean, I guess it's cool if the family, you know, likes everybody. But honestly, this is the first time I'm even like thinking about like you know. Like, talking about like relationships you're the first congrats you're the first to bring it up oh i got it out of you i've just literally been working on the album yeah just working busy 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 i noticed you, you have um a twins brother and sister but you kind of look more like your sister i know isn't that funny she yeah twin, but i look more like her. yeah you guys look so much alike it's crazy so the other thing um i heard about was this attention room in la can you tell me about that attention room is just a cool little experience that we tried to uh, separate from, you know, me, Charlie Puth, but people found out it was about me right away. Um, you can go up to it. You can just go to it and, uh, uh, you know, take your picture in front of it. It's this cool light room. It's really, really sick. Yeah, I saw pictures of it. It looks amazing. Obviously, that's kind of far for us. But if I'm ever out, <laughs> if I'm out there uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'll definitely have to check it out. You are going on tour with Sean Mendez. I definitely am. Is he a good friend of yours? He's a good friend of mine. He's a workout buddy. We're going to have a lot of fun on tour. I know. I, you guys are going to have so much fun. I, like I said, I, I think the closest you're getting to uh, Jacksonville is Orlando, but we're used to going down to Orlando, Tampa for shows, so no big deal. We'll have to go see you at the Amway. Coming down for it. Yes. All right. Well, I'm so excited for you. Good luck with the tour. It was so nice talking to you today. Thanks for taking a little time out. I know you're laying up in bed. Appreciate it. No, of course. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to see you in Orlando in July. Absolutely. Thank you again. Bye.